This is the Crease Cast. Here's your host, Lock in the Crease. Ladies and gentlemen, the Crease Cast is back for a brand new season. How's it going, everybody? Uh, I am Lock and Lock and Crease Urban, and this is, yeah, the first episode of season two of the Crease Cast podcast. Um, it's great to be back. It's been a while. I've been on a bit of a break. Uh, just dealing, you know, taking some time off. There's no hockey going on, so why not take a little bit of a break? Um, but anyway, what you're about to hear is the very first episode of the show. Uh, my friend Helena Choi stopped by to talk about all the, uh, new jerseys that came out on Monday, all the new NHL reverse retros. So, um, just to give you a little bit of a quick rundown, um, originally it was going to be just one episode uh, talking about all 31 jerseys, but about an hour and a half in, we quickly realized that that was going to be way too long for one episode, so I decided to split it up into two. Um, so essentially what you're about to hear is part one of this, ep- of the part one of our, of our uh, conversation, uh, going over the Canucks, uh, re- reverse retro jersey and the entire Eastern Conference, and then the second half uh, talks about the Western Conference and then final thoughts and top three wor- best best and worst of the jerseys. So that is, and uh, that's what this is, and that's what you're watching. So yeah, you're watching the first half right now. Um, yeah, and yeah, basically that's uh, that's that's how this is gonna go. I'm sorry, I didn't prepare something. I should have. But um, where you're watching me right now, you're watching me instead of on Zoom like the rest of this episode is done on. Uh, you're watching me just from my regular camera and everything and, uh, a new computer setup. And I wanted to just, you know, say thank you so much to everybody who's been, uh, who enjoyed the show last season and there's a reason, and you're the, the whole reason why, uh, we're coming back for a second year. I'm really looking forward to doing, um, to doing all sorts of brand new stuff that I wasn't able to before with the show and taking it in a bunch of brand new and crazier and weirder directions, uh, than ever possible, and that's kind of, um, and that's kind of, um, um, noticeable in the first episode when we were able to show, uh, more pictures and everything and do a little bit more, like, internet deep dive stuff, so you're gonna be able to see that kind of thing, uh, on this show, but it's gonna be even better and more, uh, detailed and everything as we go through the rest of the season, uh, yeah, more interviews, more, uh, segments and stuff. I've got a lot of ideas for how, uh, and how we can do the show bigger and better. And, um, hopefully you guys are excited for this and the return of hockey whenever that comes as much as I do, as much as I am. So without further ado, uh, this is the first half of the interview, uh, of the interview, uh, with Helena Choi. And, uh, part two will be coming out, uh, in about a, co- in about a couple days from now. You're probably getting this on Wednesday, uh, on Wednesday, or if you're late to it, it's already out. Uh, yeah, part one here on, uh, Wednesday, and then, uh, part two on either Friday or Saturday. I have not figured out the official day yet, but, uh, basically, yeah, look out for that as well. Um, and, uh, and what else is left is there to say, but, uh, thanks for listening and enjoy the rest of the show. Okay, ready to go. I've, it's been a while. I haven't done this in a while, so <laughs> we'll see how I, we'll see how it you goes. Just make this your intro. This is hilarious. This is this is the <laughs> intro of the show. This yeah. this right Hello, now. Everybody. This is Hi. the show. Hi everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Crease Cast, the second season. We they they thought we would never come back. They thought we were dead, but here we are, alive and well at, for another year. <laughs> how was that? Was that good? Was that good? I like how I like how you say they like they thought we would never come back like I've always been they the establishment (laughs) yes you have always been here this is my co-host um guys uh wow welcome back it's been a while uh it's been uh I think about a month now I haven't done an episode because you know life's been you know there's been no hockey there's been nothing to talk about um and there's been no reason to do a show uh, but I, and just needing a break over time, you know how it goes and, but Hey, we're back and we're ready to go here with a brand new season. Hopefully hockey comes back sooner rather than later, but we do have a lot of hockey news to talk about. I am joined today by my best friend in the world. Uh, she is an aspiring HR person. <laughs> uh, she's just, and she's, you know, just my best friend, Helena Choi. Hi, Helena. Hi, how are you? I'm great. I'm, I'm doing fantastic. How are you? 
I am also doing fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. yeah thank you for coming on, especially because uh, I know what a I know what a big hockey fan you are. Just like die hard, you know. You know everything about every team, so I'm I'm just really happy to have you on here. Um, just as just like you know, what did you think of a uh, Sebastian Ajo season with the Hurricanes last year? He's 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 great. He's awesome. Yeah. Love him. <laughs> okay. We- so we stand okay <laughs> yeah yeah we stand well done well done yes very true yeah. um okay as you maybe could tell uh helena's not the biggest hockey hockey person in the world she's not the biggest hockey fan but she knows her hockey like you have a you have you have an alex burroughs jersey somewhere in your closet signed too signed oh my god did you get it signed yourself or was it just uh or was Actually, it all- my dad won it so it was already your signed. Dad when I got it. That's in, that's awesome. What do you, like how how did he win it? What like it just he just randomly lucked into an Alex Burroughs raffle or something? You know what? I think Best Buy had a few deals with uh, <laughs> oh, okay the Canucks back in the day. Right. Her her uh, her dad works at Best Buy for context. He works at yeah. Best Buy. So um yeah um so because you you haven't been to many games. You haven't been to many games in the last little bit. I have not. Right. We went to the one game last year against the Panthers. That was fun. That was very fun, especially because the tickets were free. That's always good. Don't get, we don't get those much. You don't get those. No, we don't. (laughs) Especially as media. Media do not get free tickets for any reason, right? Because you're there to work. So you don't get them that often. And then just like a random person also doesn't get free tickets. So, I mean. Very true. Um. (laughs) So Helena's not here to talk necessarily about her hockey expertise, but she's here to give her fashion expertise because, of course, the NHL reverse retros ca- came out today uh, between the, the the league, the partnership between the league and Adidas. And, um, you know, as you know, with this podcast, uh, I'm very I love to talk about jerseys and stuff because I and my dreams of having the world's biggest uh uh, jersey collection before uh, I die you know that's that's the dream but Helena's here because yeah she's a fa- she's the most fashionable person I know so <laughs> I wanted to bring her in to see basically what a person who's not like necessarily into all the hockey lore and everything else looks at these jerseys what do they see when they see these jerseys because I can give you the diehard clip notes on the jerseys and what I think but we all kind of have our opinions already. So it's interesting to kind of get a different perspective of fre- someone with fresh eyes looking at these jerseys like they've never seen them before. And uh, we're going to do that. We're going to just, you know, go in. We're lit- this literally is basically this whole episode's jerseys talk because that's all there is to talk about right now. But also because this is what we do here on the Crease Cast. This is the kind of, this is what we call a fun day. This is a fun day for us when there's 31 new jerseys to talk about. <laughs> all from different parts of history. So basically the idea is that I'm going to, you know, she's going to get a quick look at the, like a quick early look at all the jerseys, first impression sort of thing. Then I'll go into like the lore and everything behind each jersey, like the context behind them. And then we'll kind of like talk about like, would you wear it or not? That's the, that's the way this is going to go. And this episode's going to go. We're going to go by division as we go through them, like alphabetical through the divisions. But this is a Canucks podcast. So we're going to start off, obviously, with the Vancouver Canucks, as I learned to share screen on this thing. Oh, that's the other thing. I got a new computer, so we can do a hell of a lot more with the show. This this year, the Crease Cast is, like, way bigger and better, and I'm super excited about that, because now I can do stuff like this, where I can, like, show the where I can show the actual jersey right in front of us. Uh, can I move this to full screen? Probably not. That's okay. This is, uh, this is it. So this is the Canucks jersey. Um... And if you've been following me on Twitter at all, oh, oh that's an early sneak peek. Of the <laughs> oh, well. Wrong one. Oh, well, there we go. So um, this is, so yeah, this is the Vancouver Canucks jersey, obviously. All right, first thoughts. You've already seen this one. This is the one that you showed me. Yes. I know, I know your thoughts about this. Yes, everybody mm-hmm. is well aware of my thoughts of this. <laughs> hey, hey, and the, if you're watching this on YouTube right now, you can notice how my hat that I'm wearing with the Orca, how it's all green. Don't tease a green jersey and then give us this. Come on. This is a blue jersey. Get out of here. Like, whatever. Okay. No, I have my time later. Let, let's go to you. Please. I can I can yell about this later. Let's so uh, what do you what do you look at when you see this? Like first impressions when you first showed me, I was a little bit confused about the weird color blocking, how it was just a little bit different on the sleeves than it was on the rest of the shirt. So why is there a white in between the blue and the green on the sleeves? White, right? But like 
on the actual jersey, it's almost like ombre into the green. That's what I didn't really understand. Is mm -hmm. there a reason behind that? Do you know? So yes, there is a reason behind that. Basically, this is this is a ver this is a redone version of a jersey from two thousand and one called the uh, the gradient jer the uh, Canucks or gradient Orca from two thousand and one. Uh, you might remember that team. I don't know how much you remember the early like Naslund Morrison, Brendan Morrison, uh, Todd Bertuzzi teams. But um, can you see the the screen and everything? Can did the, I did can. the yeah okay. again perfect. So yeah, so this is the original jersey. This is the original version of that jersey. It was red. It had a navy. It had the navy top, um, and then with the red shoulders again. So it's a gradient uh, that roll that rolls into the thing into the um, into the design, uh, and basically the Canucks new version. It's this. It then it's now a, a, a brighter navy. It's now a brighter navy color. I guess it was black. The original was black. Um, and then with the the green at the bottom and the green on the shoulders with the white V's, I think they're supposed to be like V's for Vancouver and everything um, on the arms to to kind of block them out to give it a little bit of a little bit more spacing on the outside. Um, overall, like here, like the thing with this jersey for me is it's not even like I think objectively it's fine. Like it's not offensive to the eyes or anything. Like it's not an absolute ugly monstrosity or anything. It's just for me, I was I'm upset at what it represents. Basically, that this is a team with like one of the most interesting histories of jerseys, like ridiculous jerseys where they're like, there's like they've worn every color except for purple, basically. I mean, you might be a little biased, but I okay. I'm I very see, I see your point. I'm very biased. Oh yes. It's like <laughs> it's weird, but like both in a bad way and a good way. Like it's kind of cool how like all over the board the Canucks have been in the last 50 years. And you know, they don't, they don't really acknowledge up until last season when they did like the special like era games and everything, they didn't really acknowledge their early history with the jerseys. They were very, they kept those kind of like shoved off to the corner. Um, and, you know, this is the a time where the NHL is like, hey, we're giving every team a, a chance to take an old jersey and do something new and interesting with it. What, and the Canucks decide to go, let's go pick the exact same colors and logo that we already use every single night yeah. why like you could have done something so much more interesting like I was like somebody posted um a like a, a prototype of like what a green and blue version of the of the old flying v from the 80s would look like and it looked so cool like like, like give a jersey that actually needs like a redo a shot versus the gradient orca like it it's fine, but also it didn't need a redo. It was, it's one of those jerseys that was fine in the 2000s. It's not really in right now. Why would you do this now? Whereas 90s and 80s stuff is all over the place. It's so much more in. Don't, I don't get that. I think now that you explained it and I saw the old jersey, I do understand. Although I do like the red and black better. The color. Oh, really? Okay. I just think they look a little bit nicer. I think like, when I see the current Canucks jerseys, I prefer those to this gradient one as well. And honestly, I don't see a lot of people in Vancouver actually wearing that. You don't, you don't like the, you don't see a lot of people wearing the gradient jersey. Just, I can't, I can't picture anybody wearing this one, this new one. Oh, that's, that, that makes, that actually make, yeah, that makes perfect sense to me. I mean, like, because that's well that actually does make sense because literally the gradient orca the original doesn't get worn out much like i don't see it at games often at all next to close to it all i know one person who has one i had one when i was a kid like a long time ago uh but i don't you don't they do not show up at games like you see the flying skate all the time because obviously that's the most beloved jersey by most people's opinion in most like especially the old above 30 crowd that's their favorite jersey the flying v definitely shows up now for kind of the campy niche of it and how ugly like people wear it because it's ugly and it's fun like definitely. and power to them you see that jersey all the time sometimes you get the rare uh the rare uh flying skate in the yellow like the yellow flying skate jersey which uh, Brian Burke famously referred to as the puke jerseys um, <laughs> because they were, they were horrible. And again, those ones would have been perfect for a redo in green and blue. I don't know why they didn't go for those ones. Um, this is the kind of stuff. Yeah. But like, you know, I don't think, I think these jerseys, especially because they're 
so similar to the jerseys they just put out last year. Mm-hmm. Why would anybody buy this? Like, why? Why would you shell out 300 bucks for this? You wouldn't. Because that's how much they're going to, it's going to set you back for an Adidas authentic version of this. Definitely. Yeah. I, I totally agree with that. I don't see anyone wearing it. I personally wouldn't wear it over the jersey that I have currently. So you have, and you have like the, you have the, the Vancouver over the Orca, right? You have the, uh, yeah, the 2011 version. Yeah. Okay. Cause I've got that one sitting like r- literally right up next to my, on my wall here. I've got my, that version. And then I don't have the, I don't have the new Orca without the, without the arches. I do like, again, it's not that I don't like the Jersey objectively. I think it's fine. It just bothers me that literally they could have done anything more interesting than this. And as we're about to get into in the very next picture, in the very next picture, it's not even the best green, blue whale Jersey out of all of these. Like there's a better one. There's one, there's another one of them and it's better than this one. And it's like, you could, it, you could have done literally anything else anything else it, it would have been an improvement in my book anything that's not you know if it were the orca in a completely different color I would have loved it even like it might not have worked but I would have loved that they tried something actually interesting uh, I think maybe they're trying to go for a new demographic they're trying to go for the people who in 2001 2006 whatever were probably in high school that's probably who they're looking for which is not us and which is not our parents right so which is not anything that we're like right in the middle it's like right between the two totally so maybe we're just not the right demographic for this type of jersey I'm sure there are people out there that love it and are gonna go buy it because it reminds them of their childhood but that's not us I mean I'm probably gonna buy it because I'm a huge sucker but like Mm -hmm. that's (laughs) I, I, I'm a, I'm a giant sucker who will buy anything the Canucks put in front of me because I'm an idiot, but <laughs> I mean, it's, it's in the, in the general principle of it, I really wish they had done something more interesting. Like that's like, for me, I'm mad about it because it's not, it's there. I, I know. So I've seen all the rendering because of course in Canucks Twitter, people are always putting out their ideas and like concepts and stuff, which I love. And it's so fun to see people's ideas and everybody else's idea was more interesting than the dis- than the one we got. And that's at the end of the day. And, and, and then of course, with the whole fact of if it's the same colors you're already wearing and it's the co- and the logo you're already wearing, how the fuck is that a retro? Like what makes that retro in any way, shape or form? That's the same Jersey you put out every year, just with like weird different stripes. That doesn't count. That doesn't count as a retro. It's not even green. I'm sorry. I'm getting mad. <laughs> <laughs> literally move on i feel like if you guys talk like you guys should see the text i send to her like during the week like i was steamed about this but okay final obviously the question of would you wear it personally not over the jersey that i currently have right now okay i would wear it if someone gave it to me for free but i'll probably end up (laughs) buying one anyway because again i'm a sucker okay now let's get it. Now that we've gone through that one, let's get to the more, the more, the more fun ones. Let's get to the ones that won't make me blow a gasket. Um, and that starts right off the bat. We're going to go into the Metropolitan Division. We're going to start in the East because honestly, the Pacific Division has the best jerseys besides the Canucks. And I want to save those for last. So right off the bat, we're going to go with the, Car- the Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, do you, how much do you know? Okay. Before I show you the jersey, how much do you know about the Hurricanes? Like in terms of like their colors and everything, do you know what? Say like? red and white. Very good, red and white. They're red and white and black. That's it. That's literally all you need to know about the Canes. Here's the Carolina Hurricanes jersey. <laughs> that is the Hartford Whalers. So this is not a Hurricanes jersey. Very much not. This, yeah. What do you overall like? Just first thoughts. It's like that's like that's the Canucks. Like yes, <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> And that's, I, you, if you showed me that on any other context and you didn't tell me what it was, and if someone in Vancouver was walking around with this, I'd be like, okay, cool, old Canucks jersey. Yeah, there you go. Well, that's, and that's kind of been a running joke with the Canucks, of course, is that literally the year the Hurricanes, uh, so, okay, the context being that the Hartford Whalers were a team playing in, Connect- in Hartford, Connecticut from, I believe, night from like, from the W8, the old Western Hockey, or sorry, World Hockey Association in 1972. They moved into the NHL in the late 70s, uh, stayed there until 
1997, I believe, and then they moved to Carolina, to Raleigh, North Carolina, became the Hurricanes. Um, the Canucks got the Orca jerseys, the original, the Navy maroon ones, the Navy and red ones, the year after they moved. <laughs> they, they, had an, they put an Orca jersey into effect the year the Whalers became the Hurricanes, which is very funny. And then, of course, it, like 10 years later, brought green and blue back which was the right call. Again, I like the Orca and I like green and blue and I'm mad about the jerseys again. <laughs> um, and, um, but uh, yeah, so now the, there's always the jokes of, hey, look, it's the Hartford Whalers. No, it isn't. I and mean, we're a different team. We're a different brand. And of course people still ask, so is a Canuck a, a whale? I got that question a lot when I was living in California. It was, <laughs> are, are, are the, is a Canuck a whale? I'm like, no, no, it isn't. That's just the logo. <laughs> That's just the logo for some reason. And again, I say that as someone who likes the Orca. So basically this jersey, yeah. So this jersey is a gray version of an or of the uh, Hartford Whalers original jerseys from where are we? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, so many spoilers. I know, oh no. <laughs> like, I mean, you probably look. can't even tell. Um, yeah, so it's the it's based off this white jersey um, from, uh, the, from, uh, the, from the early days of the Whalers. Um, this logo up is like one of the most iconic logos in NHL history because of just, it's really perfect. I mean, you've got the, the whale, you got like the whale tail, the whale tail at the top, and you got the W for Whalers. And then in the negative space, it's an H for Hartford, which is really cool. Um, I yeah, I know. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Like, it's like, they really, uh, that it's literally, it's such a simple logo, but it's so well done. Like, and there's a reason like those jerseys in particular, Whalers jerseys have really stood the test of time. A lot of people have them and a lot of people like still wear them to games because they're very cool. Like, and of course, Carolina, uh, brought the jerseys back for a limited run. Like the last couple years, they've done, I think two games a year in a green version of the Whalers jersey, which I love and I really want. They brought this, now they've got this one in with the gray, with a gray and then the blue, white, green stripes. No, I, I love the gray. You like the gray? I love it, I love it. I think it's just a, so different because you always see white. I think it's just, it's, it's different enough, but still similar, you know? Right, it could- just that little touch. It could easily pass as both a home jersey because it's like gray and then also as a road jersey because it's like a lighter shade of gray. It can work for both for any time of occasion really here. Um, I do like, yeah, that it's not just another white jersey. I appreciate that they've gone in a direction that's, um, you know, it, it's hard to do this jersey well. It's hard to do this jersey multiple times and have it work, you know, because they've already done it in the green in the green and I think in the blue and they've done it all these versions the gray was kind of the only way left and you kind of think well it will it work will it work that well this time around it looks like it has it I can't I don't see anything wrong with it here it looks really good and it looks really clean just when I first saw it I really thought it was a mustache like I didn't know <laughs> I didn't know what it was a mustache so like first impressions if I somewhat saw someone like walking across the street with this jersey I'd be like okay weird mustache but now that you fully explained it to me and I can see the h and the w and then the tail it just it makes so much sense it's also very like clean yeah yeah it's a really it's a really well done jersey oh don't show that off yet um it's just it's it's a it's perfect it's a perfect jersey it works in a lot of occasions it's easily one of my favorites of this of this group um just in terms of like how like how well it looks and how the like the the whale on the shoulder patch I really like as well they've done they did a really good job with this uniform overall um all right so the moment of truth here is would you wear it yeah you would wear this one okay I, I, I was I, it's not like it's not any it's not like anything I've seen before and that's what I like about it I, I love the gray. I can't get over how stunning that gray looks because you can only tell it is gray once you look at it. And that's what I like about like clothes, kind of like even like jerseys in general, where like in the in like a big picture, it just looks like normal. But when you really like look at it and the fine details and the shade of gray that they used, I really love it. Yeah, I would all I would easily put this in a I would wear this situation. It looks fantastic and it looks fantastic at that. Okay, 
Next, all right. Next up, we got here is the I believe the uh, I should have had I should have uh, I should have written down a list. Let's just jump to it. It's the Columbus Blue Jackets. Okay. All right. First thoughts on this one. It's red. It's got a lot going on. This one compared to the last one, there's a lot going on on this one. It's almost too much. Like I saw this and I the my first impression was like whoa, and then I went oh, like it's. <laughs> Well, how is it so much, but at the same time, nothing and so underwhelming? Wow, that's harsh. That's harsh. Um, so this I'm one, sorry to who no, designed, no, but. hey, hey, <laughs> honesty is important here. This is half the thing. So with this jersey, this one again, Columbus is a newer team, so they're you know, 2000 was their first season, they don't have a lot to go off of. This is based off of just so, simply put their first jersey in the league um it's um overall they've kept it a very uh they've kept they've actually kept it almost more minimal than the re than the last version um no. which was <laughs> which was um had a, a logo of their mascot stinger on the shoulders because of of course blue jacket could be like is the idea is that blue jacket could be like a a play on words for like the whole um for like a for like a yellow jacket like a bee and i i do like that that word that idea um, and I kind of wish it was here for me, honestly. Um, but yeah, so it's a red version of the jersey. Oh, they actually kept the cannon patches on the side from the with the newer jersey, which I actually kind of like. Um, just to kind of what what did stand out to me though, just from that promo video, was mm -hmm. the stars on only one wrist. Is it only on? Oh, is it only on one? I didn't catch that. Let's see. Is it? Oh no! It's oh no! It's on both. It's on. Oh, both. it is. Okay. Yeah. I would have preferred it actually on one, but <laughs> I'll take I, it on both. I see where you would be go. I see the I, the the appeal on that. I like the patch that they've got here, the cannon patch, which is they use on their alternate jerseys, um, but like in a cream and blue on their on their alternates. I really like. I actually have a I have a Sergei Bobrovsky shirt of that hanging on my wall over there um it's i think it look i think that's a really cool addition and if i can find my oh my mouse is broken this is uh i should just use this it's um i and i like the logo that they've gone like uh because the original logo is kind of like um it's kind it's kind of uh it's niche again it's not very well seen today just because of their current logos a lot more liked um, and I do, cause I mean, it, it's got the C, the B and the J and the hockey stick is the J for Columbus Blue Jackets. I really like that aspect of it. Um, overall, again, it's a two thousands Jersey and in, and in this era, like you can see, you can see the real two thousands ish of it. Like, it, especially in the logo itself, you can really see it. It's very like in your face, American, like it's a yes. slap in the face with an American flag is what this says to me i mean we haven't even got to the capitals jersey yet i mean that is the whole point right because the, <laughs> the blue jackets are mostly the the main name of it is that it's supposed to be like the union soldiers from the civil war because columbus was where they made all of the the jackets they actually made those coats for the i, for that I, I got that from the patch on the side oh do, oh okay perfect i wasn't i'm not sure because i always like i don't know how much other canadians know about civil war history because it's not really we don't talk about it why would we we're not <laughs> It doesn't, it doesn't really affect us that much, but I mean, well, besides the fact that, I mean, the Emancipation Proclamation, everything that is important, but, but you know, even, like we, we don't, we don't talk, we definitely in Canada, you know, you don't learn about it as much because it's not Canadian history. At all. We don't no. learn about it at all. No. Overall, I, I like the direction they went. I think they're, again, they're a team that's kind of stuck in an area. If I could have seen them done something differently uh, for this, for this Jersey, I think I would have liked to have seen them go uh, in a direction that we'll see a, an, at least one other team took in this in this um, in this set of uniforms, which is uh, there was a team from the old semi-pro international hockey league called the Columbus Chill that was really popular. I think they had like a black jersey, that like a black and white jersey with like some blue tint, kind of like the the Hawks, the Hawks in the Mighty Ducks movies um, had. Um, and I think though it would have been really cool to see something like that thrown, uh, put in instead, but I also don't mind that. I mean, I think it is cool to see this logo that we don't see as much anymore, come back to the league, come back to the, to the NHL. I do think that's kind of cool in, in a, in another sort of way. And, all right. And of course, uh, would you wear the, would you wear this blue jackets Jersey? No, no, you wouldn't. Okay. <laughs> no, I, don't think I, I 
I would say based on the way I purchase jerseys, which is I try not, I wouldn't want to buy a jersey. I would, I only would want one jersey from each team more or less because I, money is a thing. Um, so thinking with, if thinking with my rational spending brain, I would say there are jerseys in the jackets uh, closet that I, in, that I like better. Like I like their third jersey better than this one. So I would probably say no to this one as well. Okay, next up, we got the New Jersey Devils. <laughs> is there, is, is it always green? No, it is not always okay. green. So Christmassy. Yes, that is exactly <laughs> what it ends up being called. It's the, it's the Christmas, these are the Christmas, the Christmas era jerseys. Um, I think the more I look at it, the more I think it's okay. But the, more, the, the more I look at it, the more I think it's okay. Yeah. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a fair description. Um, <laughs> so yeah, the Devils basically for a long time had the, had taken, uh, when they start, when they moved to New Jersey back in the, I want to say the early, the mid eight, mid to late, uh, the mid eighties or like the early eighties. Um, they uh from the colorado they came with these green and red jerseys with these green and red devils jerseys uh i think the green is supposed to represent like the garden state sort of thing that new jersey is the garden state um i don't know that for sure but that's like what i've that's from what my understanding of it is um it's and um then eventually i believe in like the late or and then the in the 90s they changed they changed from green they got rid of the green and replaced it with black which is what they were today um, but like the Christmas jerseys in New Jersey have still always kind of held like uh, an interesting like um, cult following there because the team at the time was not good in those jerseys either. They weren't great when they were wearing them. Right. And um, but people like the colors and how they're weird, especially because, you know, red, black and white aren't that interesting overall. And um, the Devils for a long time didn't wear a lot of alternate jerseys. So when the green jerseys came back, I think back in like the, like the, when they finally rewore them again in like the 2015, like 2016, late 2010s, um, it was really exciting for people. And that's why they always seem to come back to this version of the jersey because overall it's very, overall it's very New Jersey and it, wor and it works overall, I think. Yeah, there's definitely a demographic for something like this. I am a very simple person. <laughs> I like very clean colors. And when something just screams Christmas, I'm not going to wear it outside of Christmas week. Okay. Like, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you might like the, you might like the one they wore last year, which was white. It was a white version kind of like this, a little bit less stripes than this one. Uh, which is one of my my point where the places where I knock points off um because just by looking at it right the one thing that really bothers me about it and again because I like it I'm I am the person who likes the loud color in your face colors and you'll see that in a lot of the jerseys I pick here um is the one the one issue I have here is that because there are so many stripes on it um at the at the at the bottom especially at the bottom here the devil logo looks off center and weird once because they had to make room for like the captaincy at the top it totally does and then like yeah and so when that's not there it looks really weird and like it's like too low on the rest of the jersey but it's not it's just low in the negative space in right. the in the green space is it just this photo or is the the second i mean the the first white stripe on the bottom is that smaller than the rest of them or is it is it a bad photo I think it's bigger, actually. I think it's because oh, okay. Here we go. It's okay. like yeah. it's I don't, know. I don't like it's, that. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't love this. I think the striping was poorly done on this one. That's the. I think if you look, I th literally, I think this is a case of if you get rid of those two stripes at the top on the arms and then that one at the bottom and shift it down. Like I think it. I think it improves. It gets a lot better. Yeah, I. I just don't like how the the white stripes are different sizes and i feel like they again they just did that to like make it centered like i'm not sure if they just didn't have enough room to make it all the same like 
thickness, but I don't know. It's, it's very confusing. It's a little bit off. It definitely is. And it kind of distracts from the jersey, which I think is a problem. Overall, then, it, yeah. Yeah, the green stripe as well is smaller than the red stripe. That is, yeah. Very I don't know. I don't know what the, I mean, I mean, if they wanted something devil, they went with the devils. They just really, uh, the devil's in the details, right? <laughs> Truly, it truly is. They <laughs> I kind cannot of missed believe the I mark there. on this one. Hmm? They missed the mark on this one, I think. They missed the mark here. Okay. I mean, yeah, I, I, w I think there is definitely a better version of this jersey out there than they w than the final product ended up being. The idea was there, the execution was lacking, and I think that's there's a couple jerseys like that where I like the way they went. Like I like the idea, but overall it's not, it, there's something there that I'm just like, Hey, I don't love that. And it kind of just, right. and it kind of takes away from the whole and eventual design. All right. So, and I'm going to say, would you wear this Jersey? I don't think so. You will You don't think so. If, if let's say, if, okay, let's say the stripes were the right, the right um, shape. We're all correct. And we're all corrected. Do you think that would be make it closer? That'd make it closer on that? I think if the stripes were corrected or they just took away that last green and white stripe, like if they made, cause it's- I And think just it's, left that green and just left that bottom green. No, left, left the bottom red. So like the top is red, the shoulders are red and then the bottom is red. Oh, okay. I see where you're going. That would be good. I would have liked that as well. And then maybe have like made the cuffs red instead of, um, the sh like the shoulders I'm not I mean like instead of like the the elbow I'm not I'm not quite sure it just like if it was tweaked just a little bit I think I would like it and maybe if I was a fan of <laughs> New Jersey I would wear it um but no yeah. uh, I'm gonna say the same thing for this one I it's an it's a no for me I'm I if it were a little bit done differently, I would say I would absolutely put this in the yes pile. It's just it's a little it's just a little bit off and it's distracting and I don't love that. All yeah. right. And I believe. All right. So the next jersey I think we're going into here is the New York Rangers uh, or is it the Islander? It might be the Islanders. Dang, I should have. <laughs> uh, it's the Islanders. Fine. It is the Islanders. OK. Are, are you ready to see the Islanders crazy jersey? I'm so scared. You're making me nervous. OK. Oh. Oop, I accidentally turned off my camera. That was a bad call. Um, all right. Is that any different than their current? <laughs> basically, no. No, it isn't. It's basically the same jersey. Huh. Um, Why would the, you do that? <laughs> the one different, so literally, okay. So a little bit of a, I guess, a, a backstory on this jersey is, well, the Islanders, you know, they've always been blue and orange. They have done navy and orange before. Right now, they're just wearing a regular blue and orange jersey. That's uh, their 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 colors are blue and orange. But before they have worn navy, this is what this is essentially. The thing with this now, the thing with this is more. This is kind of not a. Um, this isn't like an official thing, but this is the 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 consensus behind this jersey. Um, is that so? The 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 GM of the Islanders the uh, right now is Lou Lamorello, who has uh, been he was. Before this, he was the GM of the Devils for a really long time. Uh, he was GM for the Leafs during their kind of transition before the Austin Matthews era. Um, during the Austin Matthews era in a, a few years back. Um, he, but he's, you know, he's the oldest general manager in the league. He, I think he's in his eight, in his late seventies, early eighties. I don't know for mm -hmm. sure. He, and uh, he is a very much a no nonsense. Uh, I don't like, I, uh, no facial hair from any of my players. You will wear the number you are assigned general manager. He is Whoa. very much that kind of takes control of the whole of the whole thing. Everything from top to bottom. He is he's running. He's running the show. And it's a kind it's a pretty well known seek open secret that Lou Lamorello doesn't like alternate jerseys, doesn't like wearing more than the regular jerseys. And that is, again, why the Devils didn't wear the Christmas jerseys, again, for a long time. He eventually relented on them, but only to wear them, like, once or twice a game. And when the NHL did, like, the Stadium Series game with the Devils a few years ago, or, like, uh, back in, like, 2014, 2015... Uh, they wanted to give every team like a metallic jersey, like a metallic style jersey. And he said no. And he refused to, 
to let them use anything other than the Christmas jerseys as a as a throwback style for that game. So okay, I have a quick question. Yes. Not about this. Can you hear my parents watching the crown downstairs? I cannot. Don't worry. <laughs> It's so loud. Okay. This sorry. is not an ad for the crown, but if Netflix, uh, this is a Netflix show, right? Edit this out. Okay. Like, this is a Netflix. Uh, oh, I don't edit. Yeah, edit. There's no editing involved. This is, this runs. Uh, if Netflix oh, is out okay. there and wants to sponsor Everyone the show, if, if it wants to sponsor the show, uh, we'll, 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 let, we'll, uh, we'll do a crown sponsorship. I think they just, uh, they just brought in Lady Diana or Princess Diana, right? They did. So nice. first impressions for this jersey. Okay. Automatically one of my favorites, I think. Wow, really? Just of the ones that we've seen so far, the colors are so clean. That really dark blue against the orange, I absolutely love that. Okay. The logo is so clean. You can clearly tell what it is. They got the hockey stick for the Y, the Islanders, the, the, the actual island on the <laughs> jersey. It make, Everything about this jersey makes sense to me. It's very clean and like nonsensical <laughs> like, just yeah. like it just it just everything about it makes sense that is that is I mean at the end of the day that's kind of that's kind of what they were going for and especially with the way the uh, the way Islanders management is now that's like that's kind of what that's very clearly kind of the idea they wanted for so for me I look at this and I say well this is boring like this is my least for me this is my least favorite because what I want to see from these jerseys, from these reverse retros, is something I haven't seen before. I want to see teams, especially because the thing with hockey culture is that, again, this is, and Lou Lamorello is a big part of why it is like this, is that hockey culture doesn't like doing anything, create anything over out of the box and like crazy. They don't like getting too, like, they don't like getting um crazy about anything they they have a very set idea of what is acceptable and what isn't and Mm -hmm. there's like this and there's a lot and that kind of that and that's a kind of a problem when you know teams aren't willing to kind of like try going a a little out of the box and being creative and I think because I think you lose out on a lot of potential like customers and like fans that way because you're not you're not you're not trying to appeal to more people to a wider audience and trying more things that are a more out that might be more out there for you or out of your comfort zone as an organization and as a team and this is kind of that example of this because you know if it's one thing if this is your regular jersey like this is great for regular jersey if this was your regular home and away set like i don't see any problem with this but for a jersey that you're only going to wear what maybe two times in in the season maybe three Like, I want to see you go nuts with it. I want to see you get a little bit crazy. For me, I wanted to see uh, from, especially from the Islanders, again, because my thing for me is I want to see teams give a shot at a new jersey that they haven't gone back to is the old Fish Sticks logo from the old Fisherman jersey from the early 90s, because from the mid 90s, because it's just so goofy and crazy. And I'm going to throw a picture of it up right now, uh, if I can, um because is, it's and is it's, this an old logo this is like, an old does this logo make sense does the, what well, like um is the, it an like is it actually like an old logo that they used to have th- th- this the one on the jersey they have on this jersey yeah this is this this is the logo they wear all the time this is the same logo right here oh okay. this is the same logo just instead of again it's just navy instead of blue um but this the one i wanted to see is this one, which I believe, oh, this is a Ziggy Palfy one, but who cares? This one, the 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 fish sticks logo with the wavy, with the no. waves on it. I wanted to see them no, do this. No, 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 no. See, cause like, if you're gonna go nuts with this for two games, do something stupid and crazy. Why not? Try something out of the box like these ridiculous jerseys that Ziggy Palfy and Darius Kasparitis used to wear. Cause they look so cool. And they're very, very nineties. Like- they are. They're fantastic. I love I mean, them. Yeah, I definitely would be in style. Look right at the, now, look at that. how the letters are wavy too, and the numbers. I love it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, it's so great. I'm actually re- I've been reading a book called We Want Fish Sticks, and it's about this era because everyone. So it's called the Fish Sticks jersey because the guy on the front looks like the Gorton's fisherman guy, and it okay. looks like it looks like a logo for fish sticks. Um. 
And it was, oh, it's such a, it's such a good Jersey. I love it. Um, but yeah, so overall, I wanted to see something more like that, something a little bit more creative and out of the box. I get why we didn't get that. And overall, I would say it's clean, but it's my least, fa- but it's my least favorite immediately on the, it's boring to me. Cause I see this Jersey already 82 times a year from the Islanders. Of course. And that's the exact opposite reaction that I had. And that makes perfect sense. That frankly makes perfect sense again, because you don't watch the games like that because you don't see them all the time. My top is the same color as that blue. It's like one of my favorite blues to wear. I just, I love everything about this jersey. See, I'm I'm very much, especially after seeing the Canucks jersey, I'm very much immediately getting into the band Navy from hockey jerseys because it's a boring (laughs) ass color for a hockey jersey. Um, Okay, would you wear this jersey? Yes. Oh my Absolutely. gosh. It's like at the top of my list of the ones that I would wear. <laughs> um, I would say no, because I like the, I like the, the one they have already better and it's the same Jersey. All right. Now we get into their cousins across their, uh, well, not their cousins. They hate them. Uh, their arch rivals right across the Brooklyn bridge. And that's the New York Rangers. This is the Liberty. This is the lady Liberty Jersey. You know what? I, you know what? This makes sense to me. I think it does. If you were coming in like as a tourist, which let's be honest here, New York is a huge tourist attraction, right? Like it's just one big, huge tourist attraction. Yeah. Really? If you're coming in, you want to get a, like a jersey for someone, a present. This makes sense to me. It's very clean, very simple. I can see a lot of people wearing it. You clearly know like what it is, right? <laughs> Yep. <laughs> it's it's very like you you look at it and you understand. Yeah. This is so yeah, this is the yeah, so this is one of the jerseys uh, that um his it, this is a really fan driven jersey. Partic- in terms of this is something people have really been wanting back. This jersey uh origin originated in the in the uh late 90s uh right after the Rangers won the cup in 94 uh right around there they started wearing them. This is most this jersey is most associated with uh, when Wayne Gretzky was a Ranger and uh, Mark, Me- like later Mark, well, one year of Mark Messier with this, but mostly this is like the Gretzky era uh, team that wore this jersey. Um, and a, I guess they wore it all the way into 2007. It's really weird because I think Henrik Lundqvist wore this for one year and then they got rid of it. Um, but yeah, people loved this jersey. They absolutely loved it. And they got rid of it in 2007. Uh, just for their regular Rangers jersey. Um, and people like asked for it back year after year after year. And they finally got it back. The only difference here is that the way they, the one difference that they've made um, is that the jersey is now, um, is now instead of this, uh, it's got, it used to have these red arms. It used to have the red mm-hmm. arms with like a silver stripe and white. Now it's just all the way blue through the middle, all the way blue on the arms with like two red stripes and one just white through the middle. I and actually, I prefer it. You prefer this version, really? Okay. So, no, I prefer the new version to the all red, like the half red sleeve. Yeah, the, yeah, that's, that's, see, that to me is interesting because a lot of people actually don't like that it's, don't like the, the new arms. They, they wish it were, they were red again. It just, it like, again, you're going to hear me say this a lot. It looks, just look very clean. And clean like, is good. Something, clean is good. It is. Yeah. Because when you're when you're buying it for somebody else, like as a Christmas gift or something, when these come out, like you can wear this daily, like every day on the street and nobody would like say anything, you know, like some of the jerseys are really out there and they're crazy and you can't wear them really every day. The worst thing I think you can be, especially in this particular department is in the middle. If you're going to go crazy, go all out go ridiculous and all out like some teams did and they did it well and if you're not gonna go that you gotta go back and go as clean as you can you don't want to get stuck in this weird hodgepodge of both and this is perfect like it's a perfect return of a jersey that i i'm glad to see come back to the league the logo hasn't been seen it's the same thing like the logo hasn't been seen in a long time and it looks really good especially because the Rangers aren't a team that wears logos on the front of their jerseys at all. Like they always just wear the rain. It just says Rangers right across the middle. Right. Um, They have like the stylized uh, version of the shoulder patch on the side from the nineties. Again, a very nineties shoulder patch 
that I think is very, that I think is kind of fun. Maybe this video will show it. Um, but overall, I think it works so well. Like you see, oh yeah, there you go. You see kind of a bit of it there where it's, um, you know, that's a very nineties looking version of that Ranger logo. And I think it, I think it's perfect. I think it's a perfect addition for them, especially because, you know, the Rangers are a team, like a lot of the original six teams, as we're going to get into, had a hard time with these because they don't, they, they only, they're kind of stuck in an area of what they can do with their jerseys and they can do them so many times. The Rangers found a really good way to bring back a uniform that people really liked. And I think it works super duper well here. And I think that logo is fantastic and um, again, I would prefer to see it with the red arms myself, but I'm not gonna, I don't hate, I don't hate this. I don't hate this version at all. Yeah. Um, and like so, it. all right. So the Rangers jersey, would you wear it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 100% for me too. This is like, this one's close to the top for me. This is one of my favorites. And it's one of my favorites, especially of the clean, of the clean looking jerseys. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and now who are we running into here? I believe this puts us at the Philadelphia Flyers. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I just feel like I've I've, I've seen this one before. <laughs> yes, you have. I mean, we all have. This is this is the basically the same jersey. I don't. I mean, so specifically, this is told. This is supposed to be from uh. A, yeah, from their 80s and 90s version jerseys because now um, they wear very much um, um, less stripes. Like those white stripes are not there. It's very, it's, there's like the one stripe on the armbands now with like a one white stripe down the mid, down the bottom, but it's just orange and then vice versa. And then it flips uh, for the road jersey. They don't really use much black on the uniforms anymore. This one has a lot more stripes on both sides. It's got a, it's a very, it's a very nineties feel with the arms and the way that they've done it. I hate the mushroom chest where it goes over the, a little bit of the arms and it just, I need to like a me mushroom. Too. Yeah. Just, that's so weird. No. I don't, yeah. I don't love that part. I do not love that part. Um, I think it, I, yeah, I think again, this is another case of this. It, this is a case compared to the Rangers where, the Flyers have done what they can with this jersey. They've done it as many ways as they frankly possibly can. There's only so many ways you can do orange and black and white before you run out. Yeah. And especially because the Flyers also haven't changed their logo. They That logo stayed the same yeah. since 1967. They haven't done anything to it except maybe change the shade of orange. Right. There's only there's only so much you can do with it. I do like the the back because usually the uh, with Flyers jerseys there um, the nameplate is a different color than the rest of the jersey. Um, I forget why they do it, but I do like that aspect. Um, but I kind of like here it does make this jer- particular jersey look cleaner. Um, and I think I think like it's fine. It's but again for me it's not very um you know it's 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 still at the same time like it's a little weird like it's weird but at the same time it's boring because it's kind of like the same jersey i see all the time yeah it is boring and it's like nothing new nothing different again like like you said there's not much for them to go off of and there's not much for them to change right so like congrats for trying but (laughs) Ooh. Uh, it's gonna be a no it's gonna be a no from me wow going after going after the going after uh they should have done what they really should have done with this jersey is uh they should have just put gritty on the front that would have been the best way to handle this that would have been amazing everyone I, would have bought that yes P- i would have i would have easily bought that uh, they they just put gritty like flying around being like yo like that that's literally the whole thing antifa legend gritty he got biden <laughs> elected and don't you forget it um um okay um and i do and i like the flyers logo i never get like i say the flyers logo hasn't changed but i like it that way i'm fine with i love that logo it's very it's very classic um i don't don't think they'll ever change it and i think it's good that they never change it no they shouldn't it's perfect it's a perfect logo it doesn't there's no need to change it does it make it harder to find creative new jerseys yeah but hey it's really hard to keep a, a logo and immediate to keep a logo that is so immediately res uh is stuck to your franchise like that it's hard to do that nowadays flyers would you wear it i would not you would not i would not either i would rather get their regular ones i for sure that is i would definitely rather get one of the regulars okay now 
another Pennsylvania team, the Pittsburgh Penguins. Oh, I nope, wrong tab. There we go. This is Pittsburgh. <laughs> you know what? I like it. Yeah. 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 It's I mean, right? it's clean. It's clean. It's crisp. Yeah. It's very, it's, it's got, it's literally just Pittsburgh down the front. Um, like, I mean, what else can you say? This is, so this one is based off a jersey um, that they wore in the, right after they won the Stanley Cup in 93, they started wearing these jerseys. Um, it's this, with this particular jersey, um, the interesting story behind, a little bit of an interesting backstory on this is that when they were redesigning the uniforms, uh, back in the 90s um they they got this they had this black version of that jersey they had this black version black. you like the black I, I prefer the black actually to the white it, yeah. it looks cleaner in the black yeah that makes for that 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 totally checks because the whole thing was actually the penguins at the time wanted to wear four jerseys they wanted to go with avert with that black jersey plus the white version but instead the white version would have said penguins and then they would have had um, I don't have it right up with me, but a bench, uh, a jersey, the um, the redone penguin, which is affectionately known today as the Robo Penguin, as the the Robo Penguin, because it kind of looked like a weird like a uh, robot sort of thing. It was um, it's this, it's this, uh, it's this thing, like it looks very like, it's a very you know, it's a very That's regal a thing. Airline. What like an airline? It does look like an airline logo. That's actually a really good description. Um, but essentially the penguins wanted to wear a black or here it is actually they were going to wear or no that's not it but they wanted to wear a black version of this jer of this white jersey as well the league said no you can only wear two at the time because this was in the 90s so they picked one of each design they picked the white penguin and the black pittsburgh script um and, and so essentially this is kind of them uh going back to the to the to the drawing board here with this and bringing back reviving an old jersey that never got to see its light of day um i like again so this is again this is the case for me where i'm like i wish they had gone bigger for me like i like it like i like the jersey objectively because it's very clean it's very nice yeah. but i wish they'd gone bigger i wish i for me i would have rather seen the robo penguin that's what i wanted to see from them i think what I noticed about the other one that you showed me, the black one, is that the the P for penguin started on the shoulder or like kind of like the armpit kind of area. And it just made the, the whole thing a bit bigger. You see how it's a little bit higher up there? Yes. I prefer that. I think it makes Pittsburgh just look very small. Now that I look at it compared to the black one, it's a little bit awkwardly placed. I just like the black one better. That's fair. I mean, again, it's not really like, you know, they had to do something. They had to change something about it. That was kind of the yeah. main, they, I, I at least think that Pittsburgh understood the assignment, which some teams didn't. Some teams didn't understand the assignment and just did the same thing they always do. Cough the Canucks. It's you, this would, this is a different Jersey than they normally wear. This is, they don't, cause they only wear the penguin holding the hockey stick now. Um, so this is, they, they under, they clearly understood the assignment. And I would give, I like, I would put this in my A tier of jerseys because I think it's done well, but I wouldn't give it an S tier because they didn't go bold enough. It wasn't at eight. They, there's definitely a tier above it where I would say it's the teams that took a larger gamble, went with something a little bit more crazy and it paid off this one. It paid off, but they kind of played it safe. Yeah. And again, it's like good for like, like, good for wearing out consumer use you know like it's very yeah. wear it on your dates wear it to wear it to your christmas reunion <laughs> wear it to your bar mitzvahs and wear weddings and if funerals. you like if you and funerals oh my maybe the black one not the white one no nah, yeah the black one the black <laughs> one is the is that's the formal wear you got to wear the black one for for formal things white one for partying that's 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 the correct that's the correct answer but again i like it clean not my favorite that i've seen so far but it's definitely not the worst that we've seen yeah absolutely would you wear it yeah you know i think i would i would prefer the black one but you know what I, i'll take this one i would say this one's this one again this one's a tough one because i like the penguin the regular penguins jerseys better i would say 
if this had been the robo penguin i would say yes for sure this one this one is tough i would say i guess i would say yes because it's it's different i'd say yes because it's different i do like it i do like their other jerseys better but i I don't hate this either. I don't hate what they've, what they've brought here today. <laughs> I don't hate what you've put before me. Um, <laughs> all right. And I believe we've got one more central division team before we go into division two to division two. Um, yes, we've got one more. This is the Washington capitals. <laughs> yeah. I love this one. This is one of my favorites. This is top yes. three. I think this, this is at least top five for me. This one's this is bottom two. <laughs> What's the other one in your bottom two? Is it the other one I love? It's Columbus. <laughs> it's Columbus. Okay. 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 So I, the, I, the, I'm fine with that. Two slaps in the face. This is, oh, this is, again, understood the assignment perfectly. Take a jersey that you don't see all the damn time and do something new with it. These jerseys used to be, so these jerseys were worn in the in the late 90s. They went to a cup final in it. This was the first jersey Alex Ovechkin wore um, when he beca- when he came into the NHL. They only wore it for the one year before uh, before they went to their current versions, uh, their current red and white, uh, red, white uh, capital script logo, which is kind of in itself a modernized version of a throwback. Gotcha. But I love this. I love this. This is a jersey that everybody wanted back for a long time was the Eagle jersey. Was the 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 Scream and Eagle jersey. And it's very 90s. It's it's it is perfect. It's an absolutely perfect blend of the colors from today and a logo of yesteryear and I love it so much. It's in your face. It's got capitals right down the middle. I absolutely love this jersey so much. You know what? Now that I see the original, I understand it, and I actually like it more. Okay, like what? Like what makes you like it more now that you've seen the original? It just it makes sense. You know, like now that you tell me people are were asking for it back. You know, Ovechkin wore it. That's that's a huge thing, right? Like right. He scored his uh, his famous goal where he's backs on the ice and he hooked it around behind his head and into the net in that in that uniform. So I can see like if you were a fan of them, totally, right? Like this makes sense. I don't think I don't think it's as ugly as the Columbus one <laughs> now that I'm like, now that I'm truly looking at it. Is it it is it a slap in the face? Yes. It is. But if that's your thing, I don't hate it as much as like my first impression. Right. Right. I could, I like the logo on the side. I like the alternate patch. This is again, another Jersey, another logo we haven't seen in a long time. Um, I think this is a perfect blend again, perfect blend of the before and today, which is what this, what, what this whole point of this is, is, yeah. and yeah, I love really- this aspect. And I think it looks, and I think it's an improvement in these colors from the old one, which is, again, which is hard, which is kind of the, the fun part is, does it look better net with, the current colors than it did before and you never know until you try it and here it looks really good it does look good especially compared to the old one they really they yeah you're right they did a really good job and they understood the assignment yeah and even though it's not my personal favorite it's not going to be for me I'm not that demographic Mm -hmm. I understand it and I like it okay so I'm going to say you wouldn't wear this one though I would not I would absolutely 110 percent wear this jersey absolutely get me a Braden Holtby version of this now even though that's technically a, a jersey foul because he's a Canuck uh because he's a Canuck now I guess I'll get Ilya Samsonov instead all right so we're done the metro I don't know how long this has taken we're already uh I think we're breezing through some time I think we've cooked, used up a lot of time here we might have to split this in two um we might have to split this into like two episodes I'm just looking for the Montreal one. That's that's honestly that's what I'm here for. Montreal is in the next division. We're going right into the uh, into the Atlantic division, starting with I, Boston. I could do like a whole podcast on you of like why 2005 and 2015 and 2016 was a great year for them. <laughs> why two, Not Boston, Montreal. Montreal, yeah. Wait, which year? Which year? 
15 to 16. That oh, was, that, the, my, that was my obsession years. With the, with the Canadians? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Oh, we'll get to that for sure. I didn't even know this. This is news to me. Um, so this is Boston. Gold. It's a gold. It's again, this is original six. You can do so much with it. Here it is. This is, this is it. Yeah. I mean, it's whatever. It's, it's, it's just whatever. It's, I, I have really no thoughts about this. It's fine. It's good. It's not great. It's, it's not, I see. So this one is, so yeah, this one's based off the Jersey they wore for a very long time uh from 76 it's uh, from 76 to 1995 also quickly before as we're going through the shout out to sportslogos.net for putting all of these little pictures i'm pulling up together uh because man it's been really hard to find log find the the before the quick pictures and sports logos which is a site i use literally on the daily um uh having them prepared and ready to go chris kramer doing amazing work over there um so yeah this is a jersey they wore for like good part of two decades um it's it's a gold version of the black they wore a black jersey a white jersey now it's in gold the Bruins to their credit don't actually wear a lot of gold jerseys so this is actually a bit of a rarity for them um it's got the spoked wheel that's a little bit more of a cleaner version of it it's not mm-hmm. it's got less striping around it it's a much more very classic looking version now there is one extra part of this jersey that I absolutely have to show you which is the patch on the side because the pat this is the patch on the side of the jersey this no that is is uh that is a bear that was worn on the side of the jersey on the on those jerseys affectionately known by bostonians as the meth bear um <laughs> it really is yeah it is it's the meth bear joking. it's a it's a very colle- here's the thing it's a very collegiate us look like a us collegiate school look like i I went to a, a school that was associated with Cal Berkeley and they had a, they had a logo that kind of looked like this, like the, the, like the Bruin, like the bear mascot look like it didn't look this like whacked out, but it looked weird. Like it looked, it, it didn't look, it looked like a very old vintage bear cartoon. This is what this is. This is very American. In my opinion, this is a very American picture, like kind of logo. The patch makes it. I want it now. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's amazing. Really? Funny. No, that's hilarious. That's so funny. That's, I I thought that, I see, I thought the opposite was going to happen. We were just going to be like, nope, I don't want this anymore. Like, no, it's like, I've never seen anything like that. I've never seen anyone like purposely put something ugly like that, that people love on a jersey before. Like, that's awesome. See, this, see, this is, again, this is why chaos rules on these uniforms. Like, this works it works really well they've used the font from the current team from like the current team on it which i think is a nice touch and makes it more your own i think we yeah with that the collegiate like yeah that weird like the weird meth bear on it i think it's a good looking i think it's very clean and crisp and i know as a canucks fan people are going to hate me for saying that especially after i shit on the canucks jersey so hard (laughs) i i don't hate this i think this is I think it's this one might, again, this might be one of the few jerseys I look at where I'm like, I kind of like this one better than the regulars. Yeah. I mean, I look at it and at first I went like, meh, nothing special, but now I'm like, okay, you know what? That's cool. I actually like it. It's like a conversation starter. It's great. Yeah. Uh, Where's, where's that bear? There it is. Oh, you can do this. Like, (laughs) so funny it looks really it it fits it fits perfectly it's a perfect it's a this is the perfect understanding of what we needed to do of what they needed to do um i think this jersey yeah i would i would say for me i would wear this jersey it's um it's not here's the thing though like it's not my favorite of the but like it i wouldn't again this is another case where i wouldn't put it in the top tier i'd put it in the in the a's below it because it because again it's a very you know it's a very simple design more or less Mm -hmm. But I would wear, I would wear this one. If I, if I had, if I were ever going to buy a Bruins jersey, which I never will, I would wear this one. This is the one I would wear. I, I totally agree with that. i never will. So I'm going to say, would I wear it? No. But if I had to yes. wear one. You know the one. audience. Well done. It well would done. be this one. Yeah. This is, that's a, that's, that's a completely, that's a fair, that's a really good assessment in my, my mind. I might have to make that meth bear my screensaver it's no, is, i love that it's so funny like and they they knew what people wanted and they oh, put yeah. it on. 
they 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 teased that patch before they before the jersey came out like that because they knew that was what was gonna get people interested um um it was either that there was the other and then there's another bear there's another bear jersey which i would show you i'll show you later but uh it's like it's called the winnie the pooh jersey because (laughs) it was like oh it's just a very cartoony bear that people also think well people hated that one but they also like it in a campy way um all right Mm -hmm. buffalo sabers here we go this one this one's definitely this one's definitely a different kind of style here this is the this is we get back into the loud stuff a little bit you know what if it it didn't have the buffalo written on the bottom i think i would have liked it interesting okay also is it the bottom gray no it's oh yeah it is it is gray at the bottom that's interesting i did not notice that i if the whole white was gray Mm -hmm. i think i would really like it you really like the gray that's interesting that is that i mean that's yeah, I can I I can see that. I can see why that would work. You you'll like uh you'll like a couple more that are coming up then. This is again like the Boston one before I saw the bear. It's a meh. It's just it's just whatever. All right. I don't I don't know if I'm just like I don't know the current jersey, but this looks similar enough that if you show this to me and be like, this is their jersey, I'd probably be like, yeah, that makes sense to me. Well, you're like, not in, you're not entirely off here, right? I mean, the Sabres, so the Sabres just redid their uniforms in terms of they have the normal, they have the Buffalo over the two swords logo yeah. going, but this one is actually paying homage, uh, a homage to their um, old colors, to their colors in the nineties and mm-hmm. early two thousands. Um, this red, the red, silver, black, and white, particularly the goat, uh, the goat head logo, as it's called, uh, more or less. Um, here, I'm going to, I will actually pull up a version. I will try and pull up a version of that logo very quickly if I can, of the current logo if I can, because just so you, to give you an idea. But basically, the goat head is another, is a logo that people really want back. I think there's been some, a little bit of pushback from the team, from team ownership to bring it back because it's very much associated with a different era, a different group ownership group and time and place, which is something mm-hmm. that ownership groups that some owners are really worried, concerned about going with SportsLogos.net coming up in the clutch. So this is their current logo. This is the logo they had in the nineties. This is the goat head logo. Uh, you can see the, you can see the yeah. look, people really love this shirt, uh, love this logo. It's gotten a lot. It's a really has a cult following nowadays. Although people do like the jer- the logo they have now and the uniforms they have now with this royal blue and the gold buffalo over the swords, people like that. Like that's I actually, not. A- I actually prefer this to the the buffalo over the swords. You prefer the swords over the buffalo in the yeah. swords. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, because well, yeah, that's that's a that's a hot take. That's a hot take for most people. That's a that's an interesting one. Yeah, I think. They they knew their assignment. They did it. They took an old logo, made it with new colors. I get it. I understand it. It makes sense. Yeah, it's fine. It's, it's a fine I, jersey. I I I think they did. I think they did well. They again they took a jersey that needed a revamp and did it well. And this is what sold it for me. This is this is where it got sold for me is on that shoulder patch. If I can pull it up, where did that shoulder? There it is. That the goat head on the shoulders in the new colors which they've never done before i that instantly hooked me i'm like oh if this was the logo on the front sold right (laughs) here done deal i don't i don't hate the sword version that they've got going here but i do i do think it could i do think if they had gone with the goat head logo and jersey instead you would have even more of a winner here but i kind of see the tendency tendency to tendency to go with something a little bit more niche and a little bit more forgotten of a uniform here yeah. versus something so iconic to boss to Buffalo fans like the goat head, like the goat head logo. Um, but I don't, I don't, I don't hate this one. I would put this one closer oh to the top for me. It's just right in the middle. It's, it's whatever. It's, it's good. I'm going to say no for you then. You would not wear this one. No, I wouldn't. This one um i would wear i would wear this one i would it's a little bit controversial it's a little bit weird but i do i do like it i do like the i do like the way they've blended this together i think it works 
uh, I think it works on a couple different levels. Um, I, although, yeah, I would be interested to see your version with the green, with the gray uh, here instead. That would be interesting to me for sure. All right. Who are we? Who's up next? The Detroit Red Wings. Okay, here we go. Buckle up for this one. This one gets real crazy. Are you ready for wackiness? <laughs> it's another jersey that's the same, right? Yep, pretty much. <laughs> Only worse. <laughs> Only much, much worse. This one has been called a practice jersey, and I think that's apt. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. Like, like this is nothing. There's nothing. Like uh, Thomas Drance from the Athletic, he was uh, he mentioned today. You or no, it wasn't him. It was sorry. It was oh, it was my it was my editor at Daily Hive, Rob. Shout out to Rob the Hockey Guy. He was talking about how you could tell which teams were not interested in participating in this, and from the designs they gave, this is Detroit. This is De- Detroit is one of those teams. It's this the same half finished. Yeah, it's like, it's like they started it and then they just didn't finish it. And they were like, oh, like I'm not even going to invest half. much time into like showing you anything from this because like what there's there's frankly nothing to show you here. Like this is it. Like normally the regular jersey is those the silver stripe on the bottom is red. The silver stripes on the side are red. The color is red. That's mm-hmm. it. That's all there it is to the regular jersey. There is nothing new or interesting or fun about this jersey. This is this is the worst one. This is easily the worst one in my opinion. I, and I I would have to agree. Is this, this is a half finished assignment? I, I would be shocked if you found a jersey on this list you liked less than this one because it's there's it's it's boring. It's bland. There's nothing. There's nothing here. We're not even gonna keep going after this. Like I would say, absolutely not gonna wear this. Absolutely never. I would let. La- I would. I would happily accept it as a gag gift, but like, it's just n- no, it's so empty. It's so empty, and the it's Red nothing. Wings have such iconic looking red and white jerseys already. Their regular jerseys are so iconic that why would you ever want this instead of that? You're not gonna. I don't think they're. I would be shocked if they sold a lot of these. Yeah, I, agree. I, I have a feeling that these are gonna be like on discount bins and eBay <laughs> for years after this. This is gonna be one of those jerseys that some people will buy in like maybe in like twenty years as a joke, but like. Totally. no one want who would want this no That's one They're, too bad that that really is too bad i think they it's too bad this opportunity there I it's think. too bad but also for the red wings i mean to give them i guess if not that this is a defense or anything but like like they there's not really much else they can do they've done pretty they've done everything they've done it all there's yeah. the red that logo has already been in as many versions of it as you can and you're not going to really go for something different than that i don't think unless they want to go for one of the really old logos where it was just like a D and like old script font and like, which is maybe that would have been more interesting, honestly. Who knows? That would have been more interesting. At least it would have been different. Um, all right. We're not going to, no point in going doing anything more than that. Detroit's worst. Detroit's the worst. Get out of here. Um, Florida. So how long has that team been around? The Panthers have been around since 1993, 94. That was their first season. So okay. The Canucks, the year the Canucks went to the cup final was their first season in the league. Mm. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, so, I mean, the thing with this jersey is real in reality, it's pretty much the same jersey they wore for about 20 years. Like this isn't really a reverse of anything. They said it's a reverse of their, of the jersey they wore um, in the night when they went to the finals in 1996 which was a red version, but they also wore this Navy version, like not that long after it's pretty much the same thing. Um, But I will say for a lot of people, because the, the, the Panthers changed their uniforms to a shield, uh, shield kind of military esque looking uniform, not military. I should say it was based off of like a military shield sort of thing. Now that people don't exactly love, it's very boring and bland. This, I I think for a lot of people, I thought this was their jersey right now. No, I mean, it's not. It hasn't been for a few years now. Um, but I mean, it's not, you're not, you're not wrong for thinking that because again, their current uniforms are kind of forgettable for a lot of people. Like there's parts of it I like, like in the ways that they kind of simplified the colors a little bit. Like I think there's a little bit too much color going on here. Yeah, um, and if like this it. were the normal jersey, I'd say that anyway. If this were the normal jersey, I'd say there's too much color going on. 
Um, but for a throwback, I really love that logo. I mean, that logo is to die for. I do like that logo. I don't even know what the new logo is. So to me, this is their logo. Like this it is, is a, what their jerseys look like. It is a shield. Um, it's a shield with a panther face in it. I will try and pull it up as quickly as I possibly can. But basically, I don't, I don't even know if I want to see it because in my mind, this is what it looks like. And I actually love this jersey. I actually don't think it's that too much color. You don't. You don't. Okay. No, this is I their logo like now. It. This thing. Oh no, that sucks. It's it's very bland. It's very corporate. It doesn't feel very fun. It's not fun. Mm-hmm. I I like yeah. what they did with the jerseys themselves, but literally that's the funny thing is literally a lot of people are like, if you took the jerseys they wear now, took the shield out and replaced it with that logo with the with the with the the leaping panther logo, people like it a lot more. Yeah. Yeah. It looks really good. I think that logo, the one thing that people have said about this logo is that it's a little bit overly, um, it's a little overly um, uh, detailed. Yeah. It's almost too detailed for a hockey jersey. It's almost a little too detailed. You kind of do want to go with something a little simpler. There's always the idea. A lot of people, the people say a good rule of thumb with uniform logos, with hockey logos is can you draw it? Is could a person take a pencil and draw it? This one, because of the depth and how it's leaping out and its legs get smaller as you go, it's one of the, it's notoriously one of the logos that's nearly impossible for you to draw if you're not an artist. Like to just draw it from memory is hard. Whereas with that shield logo, it's pretty easy to draw that, right? Like that's an easy logo to think about. There's somewhere in the somewhere in the middle is a good version of this jer- of this logo that's a little bit cleaner. And it might actually be this one that they that came with the the new ver the new logo. It's this modernized version of that Leaping Panther that looks a lot better, in my opinion. It does. Yeah, I think there is again. There's a there's a middle here. There's a good middle ground here. And I but I again I don't hate this jersey at all. I love it. I think it's a very I good think, 90s. I think so far the ones that you've shown me, this is in my top five. I actually really love this one. For me, it's again, this one is, I would say a little bit more, it's, this one's closer to the, it's good, but it's also very safe. So it's not my top five, but I do love it. And I would wear this. Absolutely. Yeah. I think I actually would too. Okay. That's a good, that's a unanimous on the Panthers. This is a good one. The good for the Panthers. They need more fans and they need more people to buy their jerseys. Um, <laughs> those you. poor guys, they, they might be moving to, they might be moving someday. Hopefully not, especially because they just retired Luongo's jersey. Um, all right. From Florida, we go to Montreal. Here you go. These are the Canadians. <laughs> and the one thing they have never done. Here it is. You know what? I, I like their logo anyways. I don't know if that's just me being biased. No, their <laughs> logo is perfect. It's iconic. No one has ever said the Canadians logo is bad. Yeah. It's perfect. Although some people do like to joke that it's the toilet seat. <laughs> Okay. I haven't heard that one, but that's pretty funny. Yeah, um, yeah. You know what? I like it. It's clean. It's simple. You know what it is. I actually like the blue. I think the red is kind of in your face sometimes. Mm-hmm. Um, I really like, actually, I really like this one. Yeah. This is blue, great. Blue, the blue Blanc et Rouge, it's so iconic with that team, right? I mean, they've never, they've a set, like, they obviously, they went through different versions of it in like the very early days of the franchise, but they're also a hundred years old, over a hundred years old of a hockey team. So I think they've had this, some version of this uniform of like the red and the red version of the uniform, the white look jersey since yeah. the forties, like but it hasn't changed since the forties. Yeah. I mean, like at the same time though, if you're going to call yourself the Canadians, right? Well, I mean, red and white. You can't put any other color in there. That doesn't make sense. Well, with the blue, I mean, they had the blue the whole time. They've always had the blue. Um, and it's, you know, the and I mean, to be fair to as well, remember, keep in mind, the Canadian flag wasn't a thing until the 60s. So this, the Canadians outdate the red and white color scheme officially. True. I didn't uh, think about that. <laughs> um, yeah, because I think even then, I think there was even blue in the original version of the Canadian flag, whatever it was um like a in like before that before it was the one we have today like it was more closer to i think like ontario's kind of thing it like mm-hmm. um with like a blue shield somewhere in there uh for britain for like britain and everything um i was wondering how people in montreal would react to seeing essentially a blue jersey again because remember the maple leafs are one of their biggest rivals seeing a yeah. blue jersey i wondered if that was a line if that's in a way like maybe it's too sacred and it's a line too far to go 
but again, it's kind of the last frontier for them. But people mm-hmm. loved it. They seem to really like it. They seem to be like, yeah, finally a blue version of this jersey because they've never seen it before. And I don't think there is anything they could have done differently to make this better. The Canadians are very much, again, a team that can do as much as they can. And I think it looks, and it looks perfect. It's a perfect, it's, it, they did, they, there was literally one thing they hadn't done before and they did it and it looks great. And that's the, the difference between them and the other, I think it's like what, five original teams, the other five original yeah. teams, right? That they actually did something different. Chicago's is a little, well, Actually, Chicago's is not that different, but I mean, yeah, this is probably the, out of the original six. Um, beside, I'll, I guess the Liberty jersey I would put ahead of that with the Rangers. Oh, yeah. Um, this this one they've done something different that's cool, and it's cool. I'm gonna be interested to see this when this is on the ice when they play when they hit the ice with this one. Yeah, it looks really really nice and clean. Would you looks- wear this one? I would. Over there, over the original or. Or um, is the original still number one? I think I still like the original better. That's the way I would go too. I would say I would wear this, but I would pick the, I would rather have the original. But again, it's iconic. It's hard to say to go against that, right? Yeah. It would be almost like, it would be a hot take to say that you would rather have that blue one than this one. Or the, this blue really one like than the regular. It. What? I do really like the blue, but yeah. 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 All right. Moving on to, I believe, Ottawa now. Yes. So this is Ottawa's jersey. Red, they've returned with the original logo uh, because that's new. They're back with this version. Uh, This this version they started started their uh, tenure with versus the 3D Senator, which everyone hated. Right. Yeah. So what so what do you think with what do you think with this one? Is it too much red? This is just such a blah. This is just whatever. This is another one. That's about right. Where I, it doesn't look like they put a super ton of effort into it. Like someone definitely designed this, but they did not, nice. they did not put in the effort that I think some of the other teams put in. And it's just, it's just blah. It's just whatever. Nothing special, I think. Nothing special. Yeah. I mean, so I think for a lot of Senators fans, honestly, they're not going to care because the fact of the matter is the Senators had the really bad. 3d version of the senator logo for a long time people hated it they wanted this version this 2d version that just the side the side facing version back Mm -hmm. they finally got it this year with the regular jerseys which are black and white and the senators have been wearing a red jersey as their home for a very long time so to bring it back to a basically a new red version of the old original jersey I think for a lot of people, they could care less if it's a little bit, if it's not the best, if it's not the best version, because honestly, it's good to see them going back to their much better, much more iconic looking set. And yeah. I think with the red, it maybe it doesn't work. It doesn't, it doesn't translate perfectly like the, the other, like the regular versions do, but I don't, I, I don't think that, I think this is already a vast improvement over the red jersey they had last year. So I would say I like this one overall. I mean, I don't know what their jersey looked like last year, so <laughs> I, can't, I can't comment on that, but. I don't I, need to show you. They're nothing special. They're not that great. They're pretty close. I don't think I would wear this. You don't think you would wear this. I would say I would again, like, cause I mean, I'm showing on the screen right now, we have the black version of that jersey, which I do really like. That's the version I would rather have in my opinion, but I also wouldn't be against wearing this red one. I think I would rather see maybe a different version of it. Like maybe with, I think the one design choice difference I would make is maybe make those stripes on the arms and the red stripes on the arms white instead. I think that would improve it a little bit. Mm. It cuts it, it makes it a little less red, just a little less enough of it that it's kind of less just all over the place. I don't know. I think the white would just look off i would have to see it but i don't i don't know that's understandable that makes sense that that's that i get that i totally get that all right from ottawa to tampa bay Mm, okay you know what i like this you like this yeah i actually i actually like the stripe of black going across the bottom and then the wrists i think that's a really nice really small detail (laughs) like it breaks it up it breaks the color up a little bit and then it also goes with the logo with the, the little bit of the black on the, the bolt, right? Like Yeah. 
so oh, yeah, actually really nice. So it's it does it does it does make a lot of sense that you would uh point out the black. It's interesting that you point out the black uh bar because that's actually kind of the one thing that's missing from their current jerseys is now they just wear a blue and white with a bull they don't have any they have a black on their regular alternates but they haven't had black since they won since back in their stanley cup days in like 2007 they had this version of the jersey this is what they won the cup in this is a blue version of that jersey um it's iconic it's very 90s the the logo is very 90s there was a lot of people that wanted to see them go even crazier and go with their um there's a version where it looks like it's raining on the jersey like it's but it's in an extremely cartoony way wow um and it 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 looks uh it looks uh it looks goofy as hell i wouldn't have minded seeing this that but i also don't hate this version i think this is very good and i think it looks fine yeah it's definitely up there with my, one of my favorite ones one of your favorites yeah i would put that in that same category as well i would say it's well i mean again it's another case of you know, it's, it's good. It's good, but it's not, ex- but it's not like, blo- I'm not being blown away by how ridiculous it is or anything, you know? Definitely. Um, I would put, I would say that I would wear this jersey though. I think I would too. I actually really like the little bit of the black. <laughs> I think it's so nice. It, it, it really finishes it off. Yeah. It finishes it off very well. All right. And then I think this is the very last team of the uh, of the uh, Eastern Conference. We go finally to the Toronto Maple Leafs. <laughs> uh, so I'm I'm just gonna say right off the bat, uh, shout out to Harmon Dial from the Athletic Vancouver. He said uh, where he talked about how this looks like something you'd see in a uh, in a fake in a fake store in a fake tourist store Canadian tourist store. That's exactly what i was about to say this looks like <laughs> a fake jersey it does it looks so much like a fake jersey like i don't even i don't even know what to say i, I don't i don't think of that off gray how's that gray looking now huh no yeah, no i don't like it <laughs> this jersey no, needed it, white it's very off-putting i don't it's, know I, I, yeah, it, it definitely looks like some, like a fake jersey you'd see in a tourist store and like a tourist trap store. Like it's, like it looks fine, but it just looks a tiny bit off. Like there's something very small wrong with it. Like, right. And that one thing throws it off completely. Totally. I think it's the, the font of Toronto that they, that they chose. Right. This is, so that version is based off um, a jersey from the 60s. They actually took, um a jersey from the 70s but changed out the logo for this version from the earlier era which on which they've done before they've had they've had jerseys with that look with that logo on it very pretty recently and it was really nice so it's kind of weird to see how it came out so poorly this time around Mm -hmm. um i mean again leafs have blue and white as their thing they went for gray here and it did not work yeah, I think this is the one instance, really, <laughs> where yeah. the gray, it's just, I think. I also um, think they just, also just to say in this, these particular photos, I think they gave this model way too big a jersey and it looks like it's way bigger than it should be at the bottom. And it's so weird looking, like how much space there is down. They should have given her like one size lower. It's almost like they just gave her like an XXL for like this person who needs a medium. Like why? And it looks like a weird dress for some reason. I mean, that's how I wear my jersey. <laughs> do, you, do you not buy the women's ones? Do you buy the men's versions of the well, instead? It was just kind of given. So right. they they just picked like a men's large, right? Because they didn't know who was going to get it at the end of that whatever rifle, like, I don't know, game that my dad won. Yeah. Okay. So I would say no to this one easily. This is a very, this one's near the bottom in, for me. This one's a Maybe bad Maybe like as a, as a joke, I would wear it. As a joke, that's fair. <laughs> All right, so we're done the West, so we're done the Eastern Conference. Um, I think we've been at this for a while now. Um, what time did we start this at? Like seven thirty. I have no idea, but we should probably stop here and then just do the other ones. We'll do a part two. We're gonna we're gonna split this episode in two because frankly, there was too much. And this is this is the thing with the Crease Cast, right? Is we don't have always the breaking news. I don't always have the breaking news stories. I don't always have the most. Uh, you know, I'm not going to have the most nuanced takes always, 
But if you want two hours worth of Jersey talk, hell yes, you're going to get it. So we're going to go ahead and record part two in a second here. And when, and that'll come out probably in a couple days. You're going to hear this one tomorrow on Tuesday. Um, thank you for, thank you for listening. Uh, Helena, where can they find you on, is there any social media you want to plug or anything before we leave? No. <laughs> no. Okay. That's fine. All Private right. Private social. So sorry. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Not everyone's on there. Honestly, I always think it's weird when people aren't, but frankly, it's probably, you're probably healthier for it. I mean, like if you have a job in HR that you want to give me, <laughs> <laughs> let me know. But other than that. Fantastic. All right. Um, so for me, uh, obviously, again, thank you so much for listening to the show. It's great to be back for another for another year of doing this. Um, if you enjoyed this show and how much we talked about Jersey, subscribe to my Patreon for three bucks a month. You get bonus episodes of the show, not including the already part two you're going to get of Jersey stuff. <laughs> And again, normally we don't always talk like, we don't always just go all in on the hot, on the Jersey stuff. We do, we do other stuff as well. Um, and um, you can, yeah, check out the Patreon for bonus episodes on that. Um, you can also check out my website, lockinthecrease.com. I've got a new article coming out later in this week that I'm super excited about. A very different, very bloggy type thing versus something more like along the news stuff that I normally do. I'm trying something a little bit more interesting and a little bit out of left field that I'm really excited to show you guys, um, especially because it's going to be a very much a uh, reader driven sort of series of articles that I want to do surrounding it. Um, and uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, um, subscribe to YouTube as well. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Crease Cast on YouTube. Uh, you can see the full video versions of this. And of course, subscribe on Spotify, leave a review on Apple Podcasts. Thank you so much for listening. This has been the Creasecast, and it is very great to be back and just getting mad about jerseys because hockey, uh, hockey, can't, hockey season can't come back soon enough. I mean, Stay like, what else do you do in this time? What else are we doing <laughs> besides? Oh, yes, of course. Please stay in your house, wash your hands regularly, wear a mask when you go outside. Try and shop local, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.